You know, engineering is very hard, but you get to build whatever you want. My name is Alan, and I build flying cars. Well, they're actually called eVTOLs. This aircraft is my third prototype since I started building them in 2021. The first prototype was built when I was in high school, but what would you really expect from a group of high schoolers to build such complicated things? The second prototype was from the last video. Due to a lot of structural integrity and design flaws, the aircraft never saw the light of day before I took it apart again. Now this almost finished aircraft right here is why I hope to become third times a charm. I will show you our process from design, manufacturing, and all the way ultimately taking this aircraft to its maiden flight. So I hope you enjoy this video. In her past designs, the rigidity of the airframe was her biggest enemy. So in this version, I simplify it down to a carbon fiber rectangle held together by 6061 machine aluminum joints. These joints have a triangular flange for reinforcements against vibration, and by double decking the structure and adding a long landing gear for ground clearance, as well as joints that hold these decks together, the safety and reliability of this frame was off the chart. Machine aluminums are expensive, but thanks to our flagship sponsor, PCBWay, this design became possible. Besides making PCBs, they also offer a variety of services such as 3D printing, sheet metal processing, injection molding, and CNC machining these beautiful metal joints for this project. All you have to do is to upload your files on their website, and which they give you a quote back almost instantly, and your metal will arrive in this very well protected box in around 2 weeks. We can do that. <laughs> you just gonna make this out of Despite the design being a rectangle, the process was nothing one could call easy. I was very fortunate to have a group of UC Berkeley students who study mechanical, aerospace, chemical engineering, and physics to help me bring our sketches to the blueprint. Despite having a bunch of us working on it, we still often pull lane irons until 4 a.m. The details were super important. We analyzed the optimal setup for every bolt and nut, from the precise length, material, tolerance, and static loads. We ran many simulations in the software, hoping that we could create a lightweight framework that is also able to withstand the forces during flight.
one minute. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so today is May 23rd and then the scheduled flight is tomorrow, May 24th, but we ran into an issue. This is the charger and it broke. It fried itself. So originally my plan was to have two test flights. One flight to just to take off and see if it flies and the second flight to see if it can lift 70 kilograms of payload. Now, the problem right now is I have barely 10 minute flight time on half a battery, which is like what they gave it to me out of the factory. So I really think I'm only able to do a single flight test, but you know, we'll see what, what's gonna happen. But right here, this is the aircraft. It's fully built. It's ready to fly and yeah, we'll see what, how does it go tomorrow. Never thought it would be so hard I grew up without a scar Just living my life with no big worries And I've always known what I want Just didn't know what came along Finding myself a much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut This is it, the maiden flight, the accumulation of endless night and day. As this 200 pound aircraft started to spin to life, I could feel the entire building shaking beneath me. And with my trembling fingers, I slowly increased the throttle. Would it fly or would it explode? That's something to find out. May this bird soar from its cage. So it is May 27th, like around 2 a.m. And I'm still waiting for um, Tattoo to send me these new battery new battery chargers so I can actually charge a battery and fly it again. So as of right now, the aircraft is grounded. But you know what? What I thought is that after three years of failing, I'm finally able to create something that flies, which is simply incredible to myself. I, I'm super happy right now. 
And you know, I know a lot of you are gonna say, oh, this is nothing but a big drum, but just remember, you never know how hard it is to build something like this unless you get your hands dirty and actually try doing it for yourself. All right, so here's what's gonna happen in the upcoming month. As soon as I get to recharge these batteries, I will install a chair right here at the center of the aircraft to simulate a human sitting on there. And to simulate a weight, I will put almost 70 kilogram of um, sand and gravel and anything that's heavy to here. And then I will also install a roll cage just to simulate um, the thing that will protect the human inside. And then that's, and after that, I will be able to do a bunch of flight tests with a full load capacity and see how the aircraft reacts. And if it flies safely and stably for the next coming month, then I think that's a sign that we need to put a human on there. And about that, I'll see you in the future. Bye bye. Stay wide open Cause if I